All right, crew members, today, y'all, we're going to be making some chicken bacon ranch pita wraps, y'all. So, I just started off with some chicken thighs that I seasoned heavily and added some olive oil, too. Um, I started out with a roast chicken seasoning. I put some ranch seasoning in here from Badia. That's very important because chicken bacon ranch, you want the ranch flavor prominent. Then, y'all know I had to go in with this no-salt garlic and herb because that's just a staple. I heavy-handed on that. And then I added a little bit of lemon pepper as well just for a little tang bite. And then I added some smoke pepper paprika just to bring out the smokiness that's going to complement the bacon and so once i got that seasoned up i let it marinate um or just sit there season marinate and refrigerate for a few hours and then i brought it out about 30 minutes before i got ready to cook so i'm i am using my black sauna today so i started out you know uh grilling up this thick cut bacon this is particular the uh oscar meyer brand y'all um when i as far as bacon go I use Oscar Mayer and uh, Wright brand. I always get thick cut. Those are the two brands that I use. A lot of people always ask what type of bacon I'm cooking is those. Wright brand, Oscar Mayer. So, y'all, I just go through, get these to a desired uh, cooked level crispiness. Y'all see that? I mean, you can't go wrong with the flat top, man. Look at that. Jesus. So, yeah. Uh, once I got it to the color and, um, you know, Christmas that I wanted, I went ahead and pulled those off. I know they look a little flimsy, but that's because they're thick cut for one. And then they're going to, when they drain the grease, they'll crisp up. They'll get, you know, crispy. And then once I got some of the excess grease off my flat top, I went ahead and took those um, marinated chicken thighs and I put them down. Um, I try to do it like the, uh, the, like, I don't know what not the skin side because there's no skin on here these are boneless skinless but i uh the the side that look a little rough like it came the part that pulled away from the bone i try to put that side down first i like for that to cook first because that's going to cook um mainly the inside uh that's gonna that's where most of your chicken's gonna cook it anyway and then once it's on there for probably about uh 10 minutes or so on like a medium heat i go through and i um i raise the heat up and then i press with my uh, spatula just to develop a crust, then let it cook for another five minutes before I turn them. And then I go and I, I start to turn them. Y'all see, that's the crust that I'm looking for. Very important. That's that's where all that flavor is, man. And all the crust that consists of is just the seasonings that were on the chicken. That's just, that's what that crust is. And so um, it's not burnt at all. It does not have a burnt flavor, but you know, using the Blackstone, this is, this is just the type of, uh, magic that you can create using it so same thing once i flip them i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to keep it at that uh that medium high temperature that i have and i'm just going to press those down because these are already about 80 percent done at this point i'm just trying to develop a crust on the other side and um just letting them continue to cook so as you can see boom boom got the crust on the other side as well and these are really juicy really tender um, you can do the same thing with chicken breasts, but they're not going to be as juicy as these. You can brine them, but I mean, to me, boneless, skinless chicken thighs on a grill or a flat top is you can't go wrong. And so, yeah, that's what my chicken's looking like, you know, finished product. And then after, um, I got them off the grill and everything, I was just going to slice them up and get ready to go in my wraps. Look at that. Ooh, so juicy. I did let them rest for about um probably it's 20 minutes or so before i cut them just because i want it to be as juicy as possible and here i just have my pita wrap and i put some lettuce down um i usually use homemade ranch but today i'm using uh olive garden's parmesan ranch and um i just drizzled a little bit of that on top uh once i put the lettuce down then i'm gonna add my chicken then i'm gonna go in with some finely shredded cheese this is a three cheese blend that i'm using and then i'm gonna add um that thick cut bacon on top you can add it in slices or you can break it up like i did and then I'm just gonna go on top with just a little, little more of that, that Parmesan ranch because it's a chicken bacon ranch wrap. Ranch is in the name, man. Yeah, you you want that ranch? Don't skim. You don't want no dry. You don't want no dry no, no dry pita. And then once I wrapped it up, you know what I'm saying? I put some foil on the end so it didn't come apart. And that's your finished product, y'all. Boom! Look at that. Serve these up with some onion rings. These are McCain brand onion rings. Absolutely delicious. Our wraps are absolutely delicious. Y'all already know how it go around here. Y'all just, uh, yeah, see him up, mom. Did you watch Glee? I didn't watch it like that. I, I watched a couple of like episodes, yeah. The corn factor. Mm-hmm. The singing. But that's the crazy thing. I thought I would like it because I like things that sing. And then maybe I need to just 
shut up because I think it's just the black. Like dreamers. they have like stuff that sing, but if you got a little pitiful voice, you gonna. I don't want to hear it. Okay, yeah. I just don't. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, I like hairspray. Well, I do, do like, like hairspray. hairspray. See, well, don't do me. I'm still. I like rent. Don't do me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? I bet you don't like this one if I can think of it. Pitch perfect. Well, I knew you would. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny and we hashtag. 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 Hashtag the Hashtag the Hashtag All right, cool members, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. All right, guys, today we're back with another little bond. Danielle, yeah, tell them what we're eating on, what we munching on. Uh-uh. Y'all, today we got chicken, bacon, ranch, pita wraps, and then we got some good old onion rings over here. Yes, sir. That's what we're going to be eating today, y'all, if this is your very first time on this channel. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you so much. I ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Turn on your notification bell. Make sure you set your notifications to all so you'll be notified every single time. The cannons drop some heat. For that ass. Oh, yeah. And remember, remember to hit that like button. Y'all remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. <laughs> we still growing. Yeah. Hashtag the cans on the road to 150k. We recently just hit 100k, y'all. Stay tuned. We got a couple things coming up. We're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a celebration up bang, which we have not done yet. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people been asking about that. And then remember, we're gonna have a celebration live. I'm gonna be live all day. I'm gonna be either grilling, cooking, drinking, uh -uh. getting co <laughs> up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just when we're just gonna be, it's, just, it's gonna be a big party. So y'all stay tuned. I know it ain't happening yet, but we got a lot of stuff going on. Y'all know we in the holiday season. We trying to get prep for some stuff. But uh, yeah, that's all That's all for that. We're gonna go ahead and pray. We're gonna get this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, we ask that to be nursed our bodies. We ask that you bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today, y'all, drinking a little cheer wine, a little something different, y'all. This is a cheer wine zero. Mm -hmm. But, um, some of y'all might not know what cheer wine is. If you ain't from North Carolina, they got it. We in South Carolina, so, so you know. I didn't know about cheer wine. Most people don't know about cheer wine, sun drop. Mm -hmm. That's all. But, uh. Mm -hmm. Drinks I grew up on. Do I have where I'm from? Do we have that? Y'all might. I don't know. It's oh, Eastern North Carolina is funny about stuff oh, like that. Okay. Because you're right at the border of Virginia. And um, whenever we used to visit my um, my Aunt Sherby team in uh, Norfolk, mm -hmm. my, she would always ask my mama to bring her liver mush and <laughs> cheer wine. I don't think she Definitely asked. don't have liver mush that so way. So I feel like if it was that close, she wouldn't be asking her to bring right. You know what I'm saying? If she could just go down. I think I've seen sun drop, but I might be. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is a little bit of the sauce that I had. If y'all remember our uh, burger mutt bang. This. It's perfect for this onion ring. <laughs> what is mm. Onion ring? Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all. Oh, this is a wrap. Thank you. There's a wrap or two over there. Hmm? Put your wrap or two over there. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, uh, this is the wrap. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm ready to take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Mm -mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. good. Good. That meat is tender. Not tender. <laughs> I can't wait to try it because chicken bacon ranch when we used to go to Subway when I was younger that's all I ever used to eat yeah, chicken bacon ranch my life away mm -hmm. I did that's all I get it's perfect mm. that's good deal <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Baby, mm -mm. I feel like that's the theme songs of Muttbankers. 
It was just this time. <laughs> right. These are McCain brand ring rings. They're good. Mm -hmm. I usually buy the Nathan's. But mm -hmm. I got these. And they cheaper too, so. Mm -hmm. That's always a plus. I mean, Nathan's <laughs> good though. Nathan's mm -hmm. good. They got. Oh. What's the other brand that starts with an A? A Lex. The white bag. Mm -hmm. I don't like getting them because they be. I feel like they be cheap. That L, full of L. They don't be nothing in there. Mm -mm. Now they got good stuff, but. Mm -hmm. I like that sweet potato fries though. Mm-hmm. But be bag be full of F. <laughs> I got some pickle onions. I'm like brown. I'm scared. What? You put them. <laughs> well, that's why I didn't put them on all of them because I wasn't sure how I was going to like them mm -hmm. with the chicken bacon ranch wrap. But I think it'd be good. That's why. Uh, come out of here. This one. Hmm? Just try to do it like the restaurants. Uh-uh. Have you ever been sitting there getting a service like your hair done or your hair cut? Why are you laughing? I ain't laughing. And your stomach start making noise. That is so embarrassing. And it happened to me today. Oh, I, you said actually making noise like out loud. I thought you was yes. making like you started feeling like you gotta go. Oh no, it's making noises like I probably could go. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> I hate the I'd rather the noise out loud than the actual feeling of me feeling like I gotta go. Uh, you do. What? Bruh, would you rather Cause doesn't the I gotta go versus the I'm hungry sound different? Or it don't? I don't care. I'd rather if my <laughs> stomach if my stomach talk out loud and go roar, 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 never that. Hmm. You know, I mean hmm. what? I mean I feel like I mean what, you think I'm hungry? I mean what? Like I, but if I'm actually sitting there feeling like I got to go then that means that mm -hmm. I'm ready. Got so much I'm time. ready for this service to be mm -hmm. over. With. Whatever I'm doing, like prayer, hurry up because mm -hmm. I can't. Ooh, well, when you got a shit, you got to shit. You hear me? God. Well, you remember I told you about that time I went to the urgent care when my finger was swollen and Grandma over there <laughs> trying to spray my finger and her stomach doing all kinds of flips. I said, Grandma, mm -hmm. I can wait. Because you know when you at work and you got to use bathroom, that is a whole nother. You make one wrong move and that's it. I'm saying, mm mm, grandma. I done been in the barber chair. <laughs> I mean, like, oh. like please. No, so embarrassed. Hurry up. This stupid stomach. Got them onions on there now. Let's see what they do. I'm gonna pull a couple of them. Guess I'll remove my fork. One of these is kind of for more than I thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so today we're rating popular TV shows. Would you like to do one through ten or one through five? I know you be liking the ten, ten, ten. We can go one through five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A turnaround. Mm -hmm. One moment. <laughs> the office. Uh, <clears throat> Are we doing points? What do you mean points? Like point five, 
Yes. AJ. You know I'm a pointer. I get 4.5. The office. Yeah. Yeah, I give about. Five. I don't want to give it a whole five because like, mm -hmm. I just don't. Okay. <laughs> but it's definitely one of the greats. Mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. Oh, thank you. Let's do ten scales. Hey, I knew you was gonna do that. I, mean, I feel like ten scales get more room. So with the office, I get office of solid. <laughs> I get office of solid like 8.9, 8.8. Game of Thrones is like 9.4. Only reason I can't go higher than that is because they, they did me I'm giving an overall 8 because of the last yeah. season and because the couple first episodes be slow and my team just. Only reason I say is <laughs> for, for a show like that to be, ooh, this is so good. I feel like our other bottle wasn't like this. It mm won't. -hmm. This is this is this is better. Even yeah. the color is different. It's not separated. The other one was <laughs> way separated. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is good. But um, mm -hmm. I feel like that last. I mean, I feel like the reason I got to rate it so high is those are some long episodes and there was a lot of seasons. I started watching the Game of Thrones. Thrones. What the hell? Mm -hmm. I started watching Game of Thrones way later. Mm -hmm. Like my aunt had been telling me to watch it. Like, for me to be able to go back and watch all of it, even though the first season started off slow, even for me to go back and watch all of that, and actually want to watch all of that and catch up, it had to be pretty good, so. Because I feel like a lot of shows, I just would be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, then y'all did with uh, Breaking Bad. I don't know. The parts I seen while AJ was watching, I feel like I could get into it, but I just, I don't know. Me and drug shows. <laughs> I just don't be, I don't know. Um, the 100. Is that the show with the Chinese people doing the, is that what that is or am I wrong? I'm about to look it up because I'm unsure. <sighs> oh no, that is not that show, honey. What's it called? It's a sci-fi show. I think it's where them people got abducted or something and went. Never mind, I said that because I, I ain't never seen, seen it. it. <laughs> I ain't got no dog in that fight. I ain't mm -hmm. never seen it. Brooklyn Nine Nine. I get that about a seven. It ain't it. bad, but six point eight. <laughs> <laughs> six point eight. I used to watch it like. Mhm. Mm I like it. It ain't a bad show. It's just sometimes it took a long time before it was funny. Like in between. And I wanted to move a little bit more. Mhm. Mm I ain't even gonna have me. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, did you watch Glee? I ain't watch it like that. I, I watched a couple of like episodes, yeah. Five. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had to get, huh? Mm, well, I watch. Things like that. The corn factor. Mm hmm. And the the singing sound like high school musical. I can't. But that's the crazy thing. I thought I would like it because I like things that sing like musicals and stuff. But I don't like excessive singing now. And then maybe I need to just shut up because I think it's just a black. Like they don't like stuff that sing, but if you got a little pitiful voice, she gonna. I don't want to hear it. Okay, mm -hmm. I just don't. If I'm sorry. And she don't like kids singing. <laughs> the only kids she likes singing. <clears throat> I don't the like kids, kids singing. I'm kids. not lying. I don't. She don't want to hear a child sing unless they sound like a full grown adult. Not a full grown adult. Just... Oh, it's true. It's damn true. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> I don't know. So, if I had to name some dream girls, <laughs> Sparkle. <Yeah. laughs> I like those. The Temptations, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Five heartbeats. Nothing. I <laughs> she also is um, <clears throat> is a musical racist. What do you mean? <laughs> I told you before I even started naming them that I might, I might. 
Right. They might only like the black. I, I used to watch High School Musical. Don't do that. I watched the Beauty and the Beast thing when it came out and you fell asleep. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, see, you don't even remember because you was over there asleep on the couch <laughs> when I turned it on Disney+. Plus. Probably, probably put me to sleep. Shut up. But yes, I watched it. So I ain't, I ain't all the way. You like... I like one? Soulful. What, what's the one? Um, I like Hairspray. Yeah, I do, do like, like Hairspray. hairspray. See, well, don't do me. I'm still... Uh, I like Rent. Don't do me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? I bet you don't like this one if I can think of it. What's the one? What's the one? What is the one with the kids? What? Ain't they like teenagers though, but I feel like it's two words. I'm gonna see if I can find the right click because I don't even know. You said teenager. Yeah. What that? Mm -mm. Pitch perfect. Well, I knew you would. <laughs> no. I don't like it either. AJ. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I had some friends in college that. Uh, I can't get jiggy with that. Because I was around a lot of singers in college, and I also had some friends that love that movie, and I'm like. <laughs> um, you. I ain't ring my back. <laughs> AJ, okay, I could just eat them. You know what? You. Oh, you. That's like a... That's high for me. At first, I mean, it was good. Danielle couldn't watch it. Danielle got anxiety or something about this nigga. It's too much. It's too much. He killing. Why is y'all not seeing him? I can't. I think the evolution of the show from the first two seasons mm. are great. I think <clears throat> for them to take it where they're taking it, it's like they were able to make it go much further than just having that baseline, you know. Mm. And this first two seasons were good, but I'm just talking about the overall. So, that's how for me, I give it a nine. From what I saw, <clears throat> I did it an eight, but it was too much. <laughs> Bridgerton. But in fact, for them to be able to, because, now granted, <clears throat> I still don't like that much. But, you know, they take you on you know, character development is important and for them to be able to have you kind of like, not empathize, but at the same time, like, you don't care as much about him being, you know, caught as you do the first time, you know. It's kind of crazy, so. Because, mm -hmm. but it's a good show. You said Bridgerton? Bridgerton, I get about a 8.5. Yeah, because one of them seasons, I ain't too much. It was kind of slow. I'm probably talking about the second one. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's that one. It's only two seasons. Uh, let's do two more. Well, what was that? Oh, that was the Queen Charlotte. Yeah, Queen Charlotte. Was <laughs> different. Which I really like that. Too. I did. I like the way they told that story. Uh, Breaking Bad. Then y'all just like Lord Dem. <laughs> yeah, his mouth. Yeah, that thing it's was ugly, scary. Boy. You said Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is high too. I give it about. 8.8, 8.9. Well, what would you get better call off? About the same. I was really invested in both of those shows. <clears throat> Do you have a preference or? Hmm, I wish that because there was so much space in between them filming and Better Call Saul is a prequel. Mm -hmm. I really wish that everything would could have been filmed closer together, but it was, um, I might say Better Call Saul more because I like the fact that you were invested in the life of uh, Jimmy more. Mm -hmm. But like, in Breaking Bad, there's a lot of anxiety. It's just a <laughs> lot. It's just a lot. And then, you know, but it's it's a really good show, but God almighty. Them pieces that I seen, because he did start it off for me to try to watch like it. The like, you like the main character, then you hate him. I was like, this is a high stand. school student. I want to just uppercut him in his mouth. What is his name? But my um, my character was Gus Fring. <laughs> that was my that's that's why I was like, he was just a G. So that's what why. What was I, that little white girl name? Um, Jesse. <laughs> I want to take Jesse you know, just like this because you are the reason for all these issues. <laughs> all right, last one, and I'm done. Loki, a ten. Um. 
I'm gonna get lucky like this. Yeah, a nine point seven. My dad. Lucky, real good. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we got an episode to watch today. We do it's your last one. So oh lord. Here we go. We do this every time with these shows. You probably won't get another one for two years. So. I'm sure. Get ready with your ready. But yeah, lucky's high for me. Mm -hmm. I give it about nine point seven. Uh uh, too high. Uh -uh. I, don't get, I ain't giving nothing too much too high. Oh. Y'all, my first bath. <laughs> My first bottle of my uh, Tabasco garlic, uh, whatever, the garlic on it is like, it was not right. But it was good, but this is how it's supposed to taste. Like, it's got a hot sauce consistency. Like, it's thick. It's real good. <laughs> but, um, loose, loose but yeah, uh, look, I ain't giving, like, it's only so many things that I'm gonna give like a, like a, like a 10. But yeah, y'all, that's all we got today, y'all. Thank y'all. Look out for a video on Saturday. We got a special video coming. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you sub. Y'all hit that like button for us and uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Y'all remember to share this video with everybody because sharing is caring. So care about us, care about us. Y'all, we love you, we mean it. We're going to catch up on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Y'all have a good week. Good week. Bye.